All right, so in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to design this night, this nice light sign. You can use Cycles or Eevee. In this case, I use Cycles. I won't show you how to make this wood over here, just these lights, instancing things, and beveling, and having some fun with fonts. So let's get into it. So first off, we're gonna shift A, and we're gonna add a text. We're gonna take this text over here, go to the text options, and right here in alignment, I'm just gonna put this one here at center. I'm gonna hit R, X, 90, and flip them up just like that. So here's our text. I'm just gonna type in my nickname, which is Nate. Simple. And you could use this font right here if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and use a font that I like and I know is really good, which is called Helvetica. You can find that for free online. Uh, so I'm just gonna go over here and grab my Helvetica font. Nice and bold, looks really good. So here's the font that we're gonna be using. Let's go over here to geometry and let's extrude it right about there. That looks pretty good. We're gonna be now right about there. Now let's take this, go to your operator search right here and edit operator search and type in convert. Click convert to and then right here mesh. So now if you hit tab, you have these ingons. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit X limited dissolve and now you have fewer now you have fewer vertices to play with now let's go over here to face select and let's just hold down shift and select all the faces here in the front and we're going to delete them by hitting x and then clicking faces so now we have this all right now let's go ahead and take this and add some solidify to it so we're going to add a solidify modifier and we're going to get it right about there in the thickness now that we have this, if you have trouble seeing it, it just kind of looks funny, you can go up here, click this drop down, and click matte cap. And then we'll say we'll pick this one. Now you can kind of see much better as to what's actually going on here. So let's go ahead and add our light. All right, so we're going to go over here, shift A, and we're going to add a UV sphere. And we're going to bring them all the way over here. I'm going to hit the tilde key, which would be, for, mo for most people, it's right, right below the escape key. And we're going to click front just like that. Now right up here, we're gonna click show scene transparent so that we can cut through the whole thing. I'm gonna hit tab. I'm gonna click vertices here and then B for box select and select right here, right down the middle. Hit X and click faces. I missed some here at the top, X faces. And now we have the glass for our light bulb. So let's go ahead and subdivide it, make it smooth, and there we go. Shade shade smooth. So now we have our light bulb. So we're gonna bring it over here, just like that. And we're gonna hit R, X, and then negative 90 to flatten it to this side. And right over here, we're just gonna place it in the general area that we're gonna place it here on our letter. So right about here, and let's bring it all the way to the edge just like that and now we have our first glass light but we need to have a light actually inside of it so we're just gonna get a simple UV sphere scale it all the way down and bring them over here and I'm gonna go to the wireframe view so we can see what's going on inside and we're gonna place him very simply inside of the simply inside here as our light bulb just like that and he's not centered bring him centered just like that and now we have our light bulb go back to solid view so real quick let's go over here and switch over to EV let's give this a glass material so click new right down here give it transmission just like that and bring the roughness all the way down I'm gonna hit wireframe view and select the guy here in the middle new we're going to change it to emission and we're going to give a strength of 50 and we'll make it slightly yellow for the light now let's go over here rendered and you can't see anything going on so click here this is an ev issue so right down here change to screen space reflect refraction and now you have your glass and you can go ahead and add a little bit of roughness but once you get a certain amount of roughness it kind of glitches out so we're gonna bring it to right about there, about that much roughness, and there we go. You can go ahead and quickly add a metallic material to your letters, and we'll make it sort of a bronze, kind of like that. More of a bronze in this 
this area and I'm gonna add a point light so we can see what's going on everywhere and we'll go back to rendered so now we have this going on but we need to duplicate this so we're gonna add so what we're going to do is we're going to take both of these spheres, hold down shift, click M, make a new collection, and make it light, enter, OK, and now let's make a collection instance. So shift A, right down here, collection instance, light. And then he's going to be, and then we're just going to take this and duplicate him up just like that, shift D, bring him up, and now we're just making, now we're just instancing this light just duplicating it and now it, you don't have extra mesh data but you have these nice lights so go ahead and duplicate them all across all of the letters and and you'll have a nice sign so here you go I have my sign here it looks really great I added a bevel to it so you can just take your letters here if they're if the font doesn't make it crazy you can go down here and add a bevel and I gave it a 0 0.02 0.02 on the bevel and segments of four so you can go ahead, uh, go ahead and add a bevel modifier makes it really nice but there you go you have a nice neon sign a nice light sign not sure what they're exactly called but they look really great you can have some fun and add these to your scenes so there you go thanks for watching